the integral of x to the power of 5 times the square root of x squared plus 1 dx. So let u equal to x squared plus 1 du over dx is 2 times x and du is 2x dx and dx is 1 over 2x times du. We have the integral of x to the power of 5 times the square root of u and dx is 1 over 2x du. We bring the 2 out, we have 1 over 2 times, this is x to the power of 5 and we have an x here. So we have x to the power of 4 times the square root of u du. We want to turn the x to the power of 4 into a u somehow. Right? So if you look at this, we have u is equal to x squared plus 1. So x squared is u minus 1. And x to the power of 4 is u minus 1 to the power of 2. So u minus 1 to the power of 2 is what? It's u squared minus 2u plus 1 times u to the power of 1 over 2 du. This is equal to 1 over 2 times u to the power of 2 times u to the power of 1 over 2. This is u to the power of 4 over 2 times u to the power of 1 over 2. And we add the exponents together, which gives us u to the power of 5 over 2. Minus 2u times u to the power of 1 over 2. That is 2u to the power of 3 over 2 plus u to the power of 1 over 2. Let's find the antiderivatives. So the antiderivative of this is what? It's going to be u to the power of 7 over 2 divided by 7 over 2, which is the same as multiplying by 2 over 7, minus 2 times u to the power of 5 over 2 divided by 5 over 2, which is the same as multiplying by 2 over 5, plus u to the power of 3 over 2 divided by 3 over 2, which is multiplying by 2 over 3, plus c. So to simplify this, 2 times 2 over 5 is 4 over 5. So 1 over 2 times 2 over 7 is 1 over 7, u to the power of 7 over 2, minus 1 over 2 times 4 over 5, which is 2 over 5, u to the power of 5 over 2, plus 1 over 2 times 2 over 3, which is 1 over 3, u to the power of 3 over 2 plus c. And just a bit more, so we have 1 over 7 times x squared plus 1 to the power of 7 over 2 minus 2 over 5 times x squared plus 1 to the power of 5 over 2 plus 1 over 3 times x squared plus 1 to the power of 3 over 2 plus c.